Hello there, Leo. Welcome to your October 2022 love reading. Let's see what's happening with Leos. Let's see. Starting off with telepathy. The telepathy you share cannot be ignored. Your words are slowly leaving imprints upon their heart. So you guys can feel each other. You're sending the messages. Battle of the wits until both of you learn to let your guards down and be vulnerable. This love will continue to be a battle. <laughs> Okay, you're into each other's minds. There's battles going on. What the heck? <laughs> okay, the general energy we have. Losing battle. You are fighting a losing battle against your opposition. Don't downgrade yourself. Play at your level, not theirs. Okay, so you're at a higher vibration. So don't bring yourself down to meet up. They have to come up to your level. You don't go to their level. Okay, and the recent past. Unfounded fear. They are afraid to trust and get hurt. The illusion is keeping them locked in anxiety, unable to act upon their love. Now this is the past. Hopefully it's changing. And then we have leap of faith. They did not expect this love to run this deep. They're putting their pride aside and taking their leap of faith. Now this is the very near future. And then into the future we have haunted. Their vivid dreams haunt them. They dream of how they broke your heart and you're moving on with someone else. Ooh. Okay, they're going to take the faith towards you. But then they're going to... Once they... You know, it feels like this person has a lot of jealousy, a lot of insecurity. So maybe once they come towards you and they see you again and you guys start talking, they're going to be worried here that you're going to go move on with someone else. Okay. So what is the um, outside influence? Resistance. Okay. They need time to answer the call of their soul and step into higher levels of consciousness. Yeah, they have to raise their vibration because you are in a higher vibration. You guys are not going to be able to get along if you're at different vibrations. So the internal influence is divinely guided. You have met your divine flame. Just follow the signs of your soul and everything will occur in divine timing. Yeah, you got to give them some time to... They're, they're doing some healing. They're um, not in the same place that you are you need to give them some time to catch up okay hopes and fears we have game over they fear your wrath they know you're no longer entertain the half-hearted effort yeah that's their fear that you're going to give up on this and um they're having a hard time changing they're not in the same place that you are okay let's see what's um possible outcome anxiously waiting they ser search for you in everything feel you everywhere always in the back of their mind hoping they'll run into you Okay, and then we have Dark Knight. They're experiencing massive upheaval to help them align with new levels of love and themselves and this connection. Yeah, they have to change. They have to, they have to meet you. And then we have Grieving. They're stuck in grief, unable to see that they still have the power to create a positive change. Yeah, they're, they're thinking of negative. They're not thinking of anything positive here. They keep on, the fear is holding them back. The fear is keeping them in a place where they shouldn't be. At the bottom deck, we have energy cores. Despite the distance between you, they still feel the energetic cores that is keeping you two connected. Well, yeah, you have a very strong spiritual connection. Look at the first card we have. There's a te telepathic connection between you two. Okay, now let's see. Let's start clarifying. Okay. Okay, King of Cups, emotional mastery. Okay, this person is bringing their emotions... Um, up to the front they were hiding their emotions before they're they're trying to work on themselves so they can um show their emotions to you okay let's see let's get a charm for the king of cups we have oh a snowflake well i when i say snowflake i i think of one of a kind but the guys keep on touching my hair <laughs> i don't know why they're doing that i keep on feeling i'm touching my hair as i'm doing this okay now, Battle of the Wits. Does someone have someone that always liked to touch their hair? Like, they couldn't stop touching their hair? Because someone keeps on touching my hair. <laughs> okay, the Battle of the Wits. Why the Battle of Wits here? We have Wheel of Fortune, Destined Opportunities. Yeah, this is this is destined to be. Even you guys argue <laughs> or you try to fight. I think you both feel it. There's a very deep connection here. What about this losing battle? It's weird how we got losing battle, fighting here, fighting there, fighting everywhere. <laughs> is that the way you get along? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. We have, ooh, foundation and commitment. See, this may be a losing battle, but there is something. You both want commitment to each other. It's like a push-pull energy here. What about this unfounded fear in the past? Wow, someone keeps on touching my hair. <laughs> okay. We have, 
Ooh, thoughts, page of swords. So uh, they also been um, probably spying on you, but you're always in their thoughts. They've been thinking about you for a long time, too. Maybe you're never even aware of this. We get a charm for the page of swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Could be anybody. Oh, we have the horse. Okay, this is, they might be thinking of charging in with the horse here. Because this is like the chariot. This is coming in fast. But, yeah, they probably were watching you or trying to find out information about you in the past. Because it's usually a spy guy with the page of swords. Spy guy, spy girl. Inquiring about you, going by your house, going by your work, or asking your friends about you, or watching your social media. Okay, what about this leap of faith? Why do we have that? Hmm, Seven of Cups, Fantasy and Temptation. Okay, so this person is a lot of thoughts, a lot of fantasizing about you, which is going to make them come towards you, because they can't stop thinking about you. Now, what about this Haunted? Coming in the near future, too. Let's see. We have... Four of Swords, healing and recovery. Yeah, this person is trying to heal this situation. They want to recover what they had with you before. So they're working on trying to figure out a way to re to heal it. Okay, and there's resistance. Why do we have the resistance? Two of Wands, planning and decisions. I tell you, my hair is getting touched. Okay, trying to make up your mind, trying to make a decision here with the Two of Wands. So someone is trying to, dip. yeah, so here's resistance, they need time to answer the call, their soul, and the higher level conscious, but they're trying to, they're trying to decide here. They feel stuck. Okay, divinely guided. Why do we have the divinely guided? High priestess, hidden knowledge, yeah. This is, I think this is your energy, very intuitive. Um, the high priestess could be a Virgo or a Cancer, but this is your divinely guided, you're, you're, you know things, you're aware of things. Very strong here. Let's see. What about, of course, again, we started out. Look at all this, like, intuition coming in. Very strong intuition. There are a lot of thoughts. A lot of, yeah. Okay, what about the game over? Why do we have the game over? And this is Eight of Pentacles, work in progress. Okay, someone wants to work on this, and they're afraid that you might feel like the game is over but they would like to work on this and with this anxiously waiting why do we have that here justice soul contract yeah you guys are meant to be together here's a soul contract we have justice here libra energy and the dark knight three of wands awaiting results look at that waiting for something to happen waiting for the right timing and this grieving why do we have the grieving card? And we have Empress. Ooh. Divine Feminine. Okay, now who do we have here? Oh, no, we didn't have. We have the King of Cups. Okay, now we have the Divine Feminine, which I think is your energy. And that could be uh, also a Taurus or a Libra, but I feel like this is your energy, the Divine Feminine. Oh, we have the Divine Masculine. Look at this, right in the bottom. Okay, so you guys are both in the spread then. This person is not here yet. You're coming into your Divine. Uh, you are the Empress. You already feel this. You already feel your Empress energy. This is, Empress is abundance, financial abundance. It's also knowing your worth. And this Emperor is trying to catch up to you. <laughs> they're, they're on the bottom of the deck. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming after their Empress. And the Emperor will be Aries energy. Okay, so now let's see. Let's get some more cards over here. What else do we have for Leo? What else? I actually was looking for the Emperor when the Empress came out. I said, that was the last uh, spread I did. Said, Didn't we have the Emperor? And then he's at the bottom of the deck. So he's not far behind. He's coming. <laughs> okay, we have here. Eight of Swords, being mentally stuck in your head about making a decision here with the Judgment card, whether or not to work on this connection when this person comes back in. You're not sure what to do. You might have other people trying to interfere in this too. Don't listen. To, listen to what you want to do. You know, go with your intuition because it's so strong here. Pay attention to your intuition. Ah, see, now we have two of Swords. Again, people trying to get in your business. Don't let them in your business. If you don't know what to do, you have to make a decision. Here's the Queen of Pentacles. I think this is your energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But this is um, feeling very financially stable. You have the Empress and you have the Queen of Pentacles. I think you're doing quite well. 
And here's Justice again, trying to balance things out with this person. Let me get a charm for this Queen of Pentacles. We have, ooh, we have the the open heart with the nurse's cap, which could be this is some kind of healer, whether a doctor or um, a nurse or um, energy healer, but someone, or else it could just be someone that has a very healing way about them, very healing energy. Okay, let's see what else we have very nurturing okay someone is walking away from something eight of cups to work on something with someone else a partnership and it could be with a queen of wands here okay or they see you as a queen of wands someone's a queen of wands of course this is a uh, fire sign aries leo sagittarius a lot of fun a lot of um someone is leaving a connection with it's your person or you to be together with this other person let me get a charm for the queen of wands this could be you, could be them. Oh, Pegasus, this comes with a gift. Nice. And we do have the Five of Swords. This is conflict. This is other people getting into your business, trying to start some trouble here. Don't let them. Conflict, gossip, troublemakers. This person's getting a headache from this person constantly talking in their ear and telling them bull. Okay, so now Pegasus brings a gift. This is um, always a gift of good news. This could be also telling you that there's good health, good wealth, um, something, whatever it is, is something coming in that's going to make you really happy. And this, and she looks like she's manifesting something on her wand. Like, it's magic. Okay, let's see what the words are now. We're starting with, who's the first one? Nobody's on the top row, right? No. Okay, so we're starting with this page of swords. What's the scoop on this page of swords? Let's see. We have thoughts. Look at that. Thoughts, thoughts, a lot of thinking. A lot of stinking thinking. Eventually, money. Okay. So maybe someone's thinking about money. This is the past. So it's having a fear. This was the fear. They're afraid to trust and get hurt. Illusion and keep it locked in anxiety. They might be thinking they don't have enough money. Um, with this fear card here. But they're coming in quick here. Or maybe they're working on their money. Now, what about the King of Cups? What's the scoop on this King of Cups? Return, forget, finances. Ooh, isn't that interesting? We have money here and we have finances here. There's will of fortune, so something's changing here. Something's shifting. But some this person's returning. I don't know. Maybe this finances make sense to you. Maybe it doesn't. If it doesn't make any sense, it's not yours. Don't take it. Okay, so the next one is the Queen of Pentacles. What's the scoop on this Queen of Pentacles? We have alone memories meeting. Okay, so this one, this person wants to meet with you alone because they have a lot of memories. So whoever this is, they're coming in wanting to meet with you. And what about this Queen of Wands? Married, mature, drama. Okay, so maybe there's some kind of drama about being someone being married. Or maybe, I don't know. I, I'm not going to put mature drama. To me, drama is never mature. So someone maybe is, is now mature. Maybe that's the gift they're bringing you, that they're no longer acting like a kid or you know acting immature. And they want to get married. I don't know about the drama, though. This might cause drama. They could be married. That's the drama. Yeah, someone could be returning to you mature, but they might still... They might be married. But this is supposed to be a good news. So I don't know. I would think. Well. I would think maybe they're coming back mature. They want to get married to you. And might this might. I think. Even if it's good news to you. It still might cause drama for other people. I don't know what else to do with that. Unless you just. Well the drama came up for something though. But that's what I think. I think this is going to cause drama. When this person returns. Because there might be other people. That want this person or you. So it's causing conflict somewhere. All right. So let's see what signs we have for you, Leo. What are the signs? Okay. We have here Capricorn. Cancer. Oh, I got an ache in my hand. Anybody have an ache in their right hand over here? Ooh, where I came from. It's like maybe writing a lot or doing something or... Yeah, achy hand. Arthritis in the in the hand. Whoop. Gemini. 
Oh, two came out. Scorpio and Leo together. And then the bottom we have Virgo. So these are placements in your chart, placement of other people's charts, past, present, and future. We have Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Scorpio, Leo, Virgo. Okay, now we do the letters. I'm going to do 11 letters for initials for first name, last name. If you get both the first and last name and someone has a middle name and you know that name, you get that initial too, all the better. Past, present, and future, also your own initials. We have E. F O Z N I wanted to see an I. I thought we have Fonzie. <laughs> okay. N D Oh, there's the I. <laughs> there's the I. R N V Okay, so letters we have for you today are E F O Z N N D I R N V. Okay, now for the names. Let's see what names we have here for Leo. What are the names, please? What are the names? Okay, Jared, Barbara, Jody, Darlene, Capri, Laura, Andrew, Vivian, Oliver, Cheryl, and Aquila, Aquila, I'm not sure if I said that right. I'm sorry if I mispronounced it. A-Q-U-I-L-A-H. Okay, so there's 11. Perfect. Okay, guys, so those are the names. Now, remember, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, please don't try to make things fit. They don't fit. And maybe part of it works for you, part of it doesn't. Maybe the charms, what I said, the charms work. Maybe the words don't or vice versa. Uh, so remember, if something doesn't make sense... Don't take it. Okay, guys, please leave me comments, please. Um, I love you so much, and I appreciate all you like, share, subscribe, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.